Hola, welcome to this IHSA Safety Talk. I am Alex Hernandez, a health and safety consultant with IHSA. Today, we are going to talk about self-retracting lifelines with a leading edge, also known as SRL LEs. This type has a leading edge capability and is suitable for applications where during use, the device is not mounted or anchored overhead and may be used at full level and where the possible freefall distance is up to 1.5 meters, 5 feet or less. Now, when it comes to inspections of SRLs, remember that the requirement is based on the CSA standard that it was designed to meet. So ensure that you read the manufacturing instructions, get trained on how to use it and where to use it. If you don't know, ask. Here are some recommended, recommended precautions to keep in mind when using and inspecting SRLs. Number one, when the weather changes, please ensure the locking mechanism has not ceased by pulling rapidly on the cable to verify that the components are in good working order. This should be done before and after each use and frequently throughout the day, especially during cold and wet conditions. When you pull the cable, it should lock up like a seatbelt does when a car comes to a stop. Do this throughout the day, and of course, I will demonstrate what you should do. If the test fails, take it out of service and report it to a supervisor right away. If the SRL was used during wet conditions, store the equipment vertically, and avoid having the unit exposed to freezing conditions during storage. Remember, the tools and equipment must be used in accordance with manufacturing instructions, so always select the best tool or equipment for the job. Now, when it comes to anchor points, remember there are three basic type of anchor points. Number one, we have a permanent anchor. This would typically be found on rooftop on a high-rise building. Number two, a temporary fixed support, which must be installed and used as, a man, uh, as per manufacturing instructions. And three, an existing structural feature or equipment that is not intended as an anchor point, but can be verified by a professional engineer or a competent person as having the adequate capacity. And the example would be rooftop mechanical rooms, structural steel, or reinforced concrete columns. As a general rule, with fallout resistance, always choose an anchor point that is capable of supporting the weight of a mid-sized car, about 5,000 pounds. Finally, never anchor to roof ends, roof hatches, metal chimneys, TV antennas, and permanent access ladders. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I am Alex Hernandez with IHSA. Check out our website at ihsa.ca for more health and safety resources, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Work Safe for Life. IHSA, work safe for life.